I don't know what to say for the intro, really. <laughs> Welcome to the new episode of Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. On the last episode, we end up completing the Fire Temple and beat the, the power of darkness, like they implied here. <laughs> not, tr not to be rude, really. <laughs> no offense to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, oh my god, these little things are getting annoying, these water lilies looking guys. But anyway, we're gonna go and look for Astrid, so yeah. Hey kid, so you, you were able to defeat all the monsters? Well, Astrid is waiting. Yeah, she is. Well done, you defeated the power of darkness, Link. Thus, you broke the seal that imprisoned the spirit you need to move ahead. Ultimately, you need the three spirits, power, wisdom, and courage. When you have all three, you will possess the power to find the ghost ship. Now two spirits remain, but their location are veiled to me at present. I see another clue for you to find the Temple of the Ocean King in Mercy, and to further your effort, I'll give you this. May it help you in battle. You got the power gem. Yeah. Starting the collection screen for now. That's a spirit gem. They are many of each spirit. Find as many as you can. I see that somewhere on the seas you can raise the spirit's power for ten gems. The light that seeks your aid grows weaker still. There's no time to lose. You actually did it now. We're even closer to getting rich, Link. Hoo-ha! I'm excited! Of course you are. <sighs> He's so self-centered. Well, I sense that man will prove to be an assassin and not an anchor in time. I hope you're right. Okay, let's quickly set sail and back to Murkai Island. Link. Yep, so now we're moving on ahead to the Murkai Island. Yeah. That's like, what's taking so long? I was about to leave you here, Link. What? Lineback? What are you going on about? I suspect that we're hot on the trail of untold wealth. Don't you expect that the light that needs finding is really shiny, bright? I really don't think so. Anyway, let's head back to Murkai Island. Hmm, haven't I forgot anything? Have you okay? Yeah, yada. Fine, let's just go back. And we're off! Back to Murkai Island. Also, uh, let me quickly show you some stuff here. You see right there, we saw. Uh, did not want to do that. Take a little sea chart. Right now, there's two items also on this one. That's Cannon Island. I believe this is where we're gonna get a cannon to our ships later on in the game. And also here, we probably recognize the symbol. It is Beto. Or Bentley. Bentley. I don't know his name really. Can't remember actually. Yeah, just like in the Wind Waker, he's gonna sell you stuff. So let me actually let me actually skip ahead all the way to the island. So see you guys then. And we're here now. As quickly as that. Now, let's go to this little house here, this port, and talk to this guy. Coming in, you find yourself in a shipyard. Want to customize your ship? You got the parts for it? Yeah, here you can actually customize your ship. Customize your ship is going to help you actually either increase your stamina of your, of your ships, or you can actually make your ship faster, all that good stuff. And here in this chest, we get ourselves the very first part. The chain hill ship part. Got the ship will customize. I believe when you open the chest, it's always a different one. Now customize. Now we're gonna click on handrails. Click chain handrails, and you can actually look for explanations as well if you want to look for it. And then you can just attach. And there we go. It's on the ship. And if, if you want to see your ship in, well, if you just want to see your ship in general, here we go. Just go and customize on uh, your view, and there we go. I'm done swapping now parts, but stop anytime you want to change. Your ship cell will come apart to the same set experiment. Yeah, just like he says. If you use all the parts of this, uh, if you use the same parts for the ship, it's going to increase your stamina and other stuff. Now here, let me check for this one little ore, because if you remember this, you can actually buy one, but... Apparently, it's just 500 rupees, and I don't have that yet, so we're just gonna leave this like that. So now, we're we'll move on to the, um, Temple of the Ocean King. Also, let me just skip ahead all the way there, so see you guys, um, 
when, we, when I get there. So yeah. And we're here. Temple of the Ocean King. Hey, wait, wait! If you push yourself that hard from the beginning, you won't last. I understand wanting to hurry, but don't waste your energy. Don't forget that this cursed temple can suck the life out of you. I know we had to search for clues to find the spirit, but we need some kind of strategy. J just don't end up like this. Hey, <laughs> you know, um... I mean, if you say you want to go alone, then who am I to stop you? What? You're trying to put all the work on Legendic Link? If you know it's dangerous, shouldn't you be helping too? Well, yeah, kid, the temple is a little dangerous, not a place for, um, kids. If you go on in, well, you might not make it very far. That's not even true. What? Yeah, just that expression. Grandpa? I'm impressed you managed to free the spirits of the power. You are strong, even if you follow the ghost ship, you will be fine. Link, get up on that altar. And suddenly he has a very deep voice. Well, trying to make one deep voice. <laughs> now we're just gonna get up on this altar. And look at this animation scene. Now, Link, take the hourglass. You got the phantom hourglass! It's a mysterious hourglass filled with golden sand. Yeah, you got the hourglass now. The phantom hourglass. You now hold the legendary phantom hourglass, Link. As long as you carry it, this temple cannot drain that life from you. Woohoo! As long as we have this, we can search for clues for now. Um, however... You are only safe as long as the sand remains on top of the phantom hourglass. When as all sand has drained to the bottom, your life too will be drained. It's an hourglass. Can you just flip it over again? No, once the sand of hours has drained, its power is lost. It needs the light of the sun to restore its basic powers. Ah, uh, I get it. So we have to go outside the temple again. The sand inside the phantom hourglass is called sand of hours. The beast you defeat in the temple of fire held some grains of it. It is said to be made of the force gem to, of the great spirit, the ocean king. If it gives deep strength to whoever holds its power. From now on, you must defeat monsters and collect their uh, sands of hours. For the more sand you place in the phantom hour, the stronger you become. The sea charts we found in the temple show the bell. Blah 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 blah. Ah, yeah, we know this. But there's another clue hidden somewhere in the temple. I just know it. I won't stop you, Link. Dive deep into it and keep the hourglass in hand. Remember how Astrid was saying that the sacred lights was fading? We got to hurry, Link. So how do you know so much, old man? Exactly. Hmm. So the story is not yet ready to be surfaced, but all will come in time. For now, you must find the ghost ship. That's right, a mountain of treasure away, ready to leap into my pockets. Hop to it, Link. Put some steam in your engines and get exploring this temple, kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, I'm not doing this for you, at least. I'm doing it for my friend Tetra. So now... Ten minutes, as you see right there. Link, look at the upper head corner of the top screen. This is how long the Phantom Hourglass will protect you from here. Find the clue to the ghost ship, times from sound, and time the sand starts to suck out of the to keep an eye on time. So yeah, you actually have exactly ten times. And of course, the door of power. Since we already have a uh, leaf, we can open the door. Also, like I was saying, you actually have actual ten minutes. So keep that in mind. But it's actually rather easy. That's very fast. Now we're going. We are in the basement, floor one. Oh, look at these knights. <coughs> oh, sorry about that cough. Actually. <laughs> hey. 
Hey, it's an enemy, you know what to do. Great Link, the evil that cast cursed this temple made these monsters. Phantoms are very dangerous enemies. Their armor is nearly impenetrable and they cannot be destroyed. So that means you can't defeat them? There was, there has to be a way. Well, you can do a sneak by the phantoms so they don't see you. You can watch their map on your movements. That's where the phantoms are. Where they are looking. The cones show where they're looking. So we have to sneak around like this, huh? What if we were seen? They see you, run straight for the safe zone. By the safe one, do you mean those purple places on the ground? Oh yeah, the sand stopped moving in the hour in the hourglass when we step on it. That's right, those purple tiles, these purple skirt makes it dangerous, but it's not all bad. The safe zone remains in place that evil can't get to. Okay. So if the sun stops you, then run for it. Yep. Yeah. It seems very bit complicated, but it isn't. Uh, let's talk to the, uh, let me actually quick show on the map. Right there, the little light cone that's showing up on the front, that's what they actually see. So don't get caught by that. And just like that, just like he says, there is one part of the clue on this floor. We gotta light up both torches, so we have the first one, and actually we have time, so. We just gotta be careful not to be caught. And we get the boomerang, light up the other torch, and there we have it. Because this path gonna open up our, it's gonna open up the key. And now just slowly walk behind him. And let's just keep going. Also, some other thing as well. Um. Oh yeah, that too. They actually get attracted by noises if you hit on the wall or something else. But what I mean is, uh, what else? Oh yeah, this break a red pot to spill its magic contact. So yeah, it's pretty much. If you drop that red pot on the floor, you pretty much you got yourself a safe spot instantly. So it makes things even easier. And I totally forgot I was gonna say earlier as well. So I got interrupted. But anyways, doesn't matter. We got this uh, small key, so we can just move on. Now quickly grab one of these pots, so it'll make things easier. And we, I've been spotted, but it's alright. There we go. Just stay in the safe spot, just like that. Also, in those safe, in that safe spot as well, it does stop time. Also, just like just like Celia and Leaf said that. You stay on the safe spots, you save up time. Not save up time, it just stops. The, the, the Phantom Hourglass just stops. And of course, I got to see. <laughs> it's all cool, it's all cool. Now we're on basement floor 2. Now, what you do here, what I do is first to flip the switch, wait for the guard to come after you, pull up this lever. Which opens that, well, it turns out the fire from there, and also, if you hit this, it drops the key. And I think this guy gives you a clue about it. Yep, it does give you the clue right there about when you, you can lure them with sound. And don't not worry about it, you can run faster than them, so even if you don't get to a safe spot, you'll be fine. Now let's get our arm run out here. And it opens up this. And then of course, if it goes to a certain amount of time, it act they actually stop actually looking for you. And you see right there, those red pots, it comes in handy, so it, it, it just ma it makes a whole lot of difference. Now, get the key, just like that. And now, we're gonna go through here, so it will be faster. And let's see here, should I should watch the phantom path carefully. Oh yeah, they, well, pretty much what he's, uh, the, the skeleton said is that um, they have a certain pattern they follow, so if you just memorize that, you can actually make things even easier for you. And now we're on the uh, basement floor 3 now. The clue of the ghost should rest on this floor. Okay, so it's right here. Hmm. Okay. And you just saw right there, one of the guards actually has a key. So now we're gonna do... Let's see what he has to say. Oh, these yellow pots. If the yellow pots, uh, when you break the yellow pot, it actually gives you time. So right there, 30 seconds. Now, here comes the most ugly, a little bit harder part of the game. 
force jams told by the ocean key you need the force jam to open the f uh, jam I'm supposed to do with the force jams yeah you pretty much just take the force jams in there and in this case there are three on this floor and you just guess that it makes the it makes the figure of the triforce and also it opens up the door so that's what they do and just like the the big key from the boss yeah you have to carry it there too yeah, it's very simple and just watch out for those guards. One easy way, just pick up, throw, pick up, throw. It saves you a bunch of time. Now, let's grab this red pot just as quickly. Throw right here, because it makes things so much easier. And also, if you do get caught, they do see, uh, the fire seals it up. And let's just leave it there for now. Now, what you want to do is open up the switch. There's a reason why that uh, there's a reason why now. Uh, let's talk to this skeleton guy. Hmm, well we do okay, so one of the guards remember what I said one of the guards actually has a key? Okay, this is what um there are two ways you can get the key actually. Actually, let me see here. What I want let me check on the map right now. Okay. I can do this. Now you see right there, it's a switch. You can actually get rid of the guards as well, just like that. And also, this opens up one of those safe spots as well. There's this spot. And you see, you j I just lured them there. And now, it's just... Okay, that's not working. Okay, so I gotta do it the other way then. And there we go. Yeah, that's one way you can get the key. So it makes things easier now. That now, now there's just one guard in the way. But the also the other way is that you can hit him in the back with your boomerang, and you actually can get the key. Well, drop off the key actually. Now let's get this uh, this force gem, and yeah, just throw it, carry, rinse, repeat, and keep skating, keep going, and get the first one done here. One force gem, two more to go. Now you want to climb up here actually. Use your boomerang and throw to the switch. It'll make things easier. Now you don't have you don't have to worry about those spikes. Now to open this chest, and we got no force gem. Awesome. And I just walk to it because we don't have no guards to worry about now anymore. So it makes things easier. We got force gem number two. Not for force gem number three actually. Because you remember when we end up getting that key, so it opens this door right now. And this is where our third one will be. Dun 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 And we just go, same thing again, just throw it. Run to it, run, run towards it, run, run towards it. Keep going. I just do it this is a faster way. Which actually takes a lot, a bunch of time. And if I see, actually, uh, <laughs> we actually have in this spare time, I have like, like, five minutes now. And just does the door open up. Now, I think this gives you the clue, bring the force gem to the... Okay, so it does. And there we go. We're here. Oh, wait, there's no fuck in this room. Look. They have fun tower glass has stopped, so life is not drain here, so that's what it okay. So this place isn't cursed. And of course there's a pot here see if you wanna get some time up. Uh, I don't believe we can do anything here yet. Nope. And now we opened up this chest and we got ourselves a uh, Northwest Sea chart. When we let me show you quickly here on the screen. What I mean. Let's switch back. Now you can explore new areas. Now we got another sea chart, but it looks different from the last one. Maybe now we can explore new areas in the sea. Take it back to line back. Yeah. And look how nice the game gives us. It gives us a portal to take us there. So I'll tap on the blue one to return to the temple entrance. Yep. So I was right. And there we have it. But this will be it for this episode. Next time on Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. We're going to continue our adventure and show this map to Lineback and Grandpa. See you guys then.